I feel like I'm kind of done with being performative and having to fulfill the requirements of what it means to be a successful YouTuber. And what I'd rather do is just be able to sit down and talk. I'd rather just be able to sit down and talk about the things that are important to me and not always feel like I have to stare into the right place of the camera and be able to stare off into space and just be absolutely, truly myself. Because I think that the reality is on this platform, many of us are told that we need to niche down, but at the same time, <laughs> we're told that we need to be authentic. And I don't think that that's possible. I don't think there is a way for me to niche down my authenticity because the authentic me is interested in a lot of things. The authentic me is not only interested in decluttering, which I'm not really interested in. The authentic me is not only interested in being an introvert. The authentic me is not only interested in teaching people how to uh, grow their YouTube channel. And I could go on about what the authentic me is not only interested in. So let's switch gears. The authentic me is interested in constantly learning about myself and how I show up in the world. The authentic me is interested in sharing the stories of my life because in those stories I feel that other people might find value. The authentic me is interested in not always finding the right place and the right lighting and have to plan ahead and write a script. The authentic me just wants to sit down and talk. The real me might want to share with you journals that I've written in the past, because in those journal entries, I've come to some realizations about life that might be of value to you. The authentic me sometimes doesn't really know what I want to say, but I know that I want to share something. So if any of this feels like it's you, where there are so many parts of you and you don't really want to just hone in on one of them to share with the world, then stay with me and stay with this video and let's chat for a bit. One of the traits about me that I'm newly coming to learn about is uh, the fact that I am neurodivergent and I haven't made any videos specifically about this since I started making videos in January um, but I'm feeling like it's time that I do that but it's time that I kind of weave in the stories of um, my neurodivergence and how I came to realize that I have that neurotype um, and the reason why is because it's a, a whole part of me <laughs> and it's a huge part of me. And in order for me to truly express myself and reach out to other people and have other people truly connect with me, I need to make those or I need to make that part of who I am. Um, explicit. Uh, I need to make it known. So I think that's what's going to be going on from here on out. Last week or earlier this week, I had an amazing experience where I got to meet a fellow YouTube creator who through the, you know, wireless connections of the internet, I felt a connection. And I am the kind of person, I've always been a very intuitive person, and my instincts have 
for the most part been right or strong, I should say. So um, I decided that I, I really wanted to know this other person. And um, she and I met the other day. We live close, far away from each other, but close enough where meeting was not an impossibility. And um, she made a video about it, and I'll post that video here if you want to watch it. Um, her name is Tracy. Anyway, I felt like I had just found my sister. Um, I have a sister, but we are not close, and we don't talk anymore. That was her choice, <laughs> and I'm just respecting her choice because if somebody doesn't want to talk to me, I'm not going to push myself onto them. Um, anyway, I felt like I found a sister. She uh, and I connected on so many really deep personal levels. And I don't want to talk too much about that now because that experience was very um, like precious to me and I think I'm still processing it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But the reason why I brought it up is because it was through that experience of sitting down and talking with her that I realized that I've not been like true to myself in this process of starting YouTube and um, presenting myself to the world here. Um, I am a, have always been a nurturer. I have always been a, a teacher at heart. I'm a teacher for my job. I, I teach second grade and I've done that for 25 years and I'm proud of that work. But beyond being that kind of teacher, I've always wanted to share the knowledge that I find for myself. I've always wanted to share it with people. So I'm not the kind of teacher that wants to like, you know, that keeps a whole bunch of facts in my head, you know, about history or math or science or whatever. I, I'm not that kind of teacher. I, I like to, I like for people to like have the huge experience of life that I feel like I'm having. So when I come to um, like an epiphany about something that's going on with me, uh, if I've come to like a new understanding of myself, I want that to be known. And I want to be able to do that here. Um, so when I met with Tracy, and I sat down to talk and we started having this really deep connection with one another. I realized that that's the kind of talking and sharing that I want to be doing here. So um, that's not to say that all of my content is going to now be these sit down, very informal videos, because I, I still find value in, in um, finding information that I want to share with the world and I find value in, I find it's a creative process to sit down and actually write a script and um, deliver it. <laughs> and I find value for myself in editing a video and that whole creative process is, is fun for me. But I need to balance that out with some of these sit down chats. And that's where I find YouTube is kind of, as a platform, can be faulty. Um, because at least the, the YouTube gurus or strategists who say niche down and um, stick to one path um, <clears throat> and share with the world, you know, this one thing um, if you want to be successful. I do want to be successful here. <laughs> Um, but I want to be successful really being me. So going forward, there will likely be a variety of content coming from me. Um, and whoever finds me, you will now know that there will be like teaching lectures. Mm, lectures is the wrong word, <laughs> not lectures. Uh, there will be um, there will be lessons. That's probably not even the right word either. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is part of the neurodivergent part of me that's, that's always a struggle for me to deal with. Um, so maybe I'm just going to trash all that, <laughs> leave it here off to the side, and start fresh right here.
Um, I see my thoughts in pictures. I don't see my thoughts in words. That's one of the beautiful things about um, my neurotype, uh, about the way my brain works. And a lot of other people have a brain that works this way too. Um, but seeing my thoughts in pictures makes it really hard to get them out into the world. I wish that I could just like photograph what's in my mind right now and have you look at it on the screen. Um, so I'm going to try my best to explain the picture to you that's in my head. Usually when I see things, I see it like a tree and there's many branches. So the branches in my tree right now have the words authenticity, they have the words strategy, they have the words niching down with a big question mark and an angry face over it. <laughs> the branches of my tree have the word um, difficult, they have the word success with a question mark. The branches have the word imposter and the branches have the word stories. So I, I don't quite know how to explain what all of that means to you. I think what I'm trying to say is that I feel sometimes like I am an imposter when I sit in my chair and deliver a scripted video to my viewers about an idea or a concept. But at other times, I feel like I'm being truly authentic because I find joy in that. Um, I feel like I'm more authentic when I'm sitting down here right now like this, just chatting and having it be all jumbled and confusing. Um, and then the word success with the question mark comes in because I don't know if this is going to be successful if this will give me success. Um, that's all that I have to say right now.